Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Pywall. Pywall is probably not known by name, but it's known by the screenshots you see from time to time pass on the net. So Pywall is from Dylan Arabs, if that's his real name, on GitHub. And if you go to the images, you probably have seen things like that and say, hey, how do they color all these things? The wallpaper is the same color, or uh, let's reverse it, the terminal and all these elements are the same color as the wallpaper. So it all starts with a wallpaper and then it says, let's color our elements. As you can see, there are lots of elements and they all follow the wallpaper that's behind it. So how do they do it? Well, in this desktop, PSPWM, we said let's install it standard and it's already there and it's called Pywall. And why am I going in here? To show you that things are sometimes not as they seem. You would say, okay, Eric says it's Pywall, you start typing and then it says command not found. Then you go and, and, and investigate and this is your tool to investigate. What you download in a package, any package, is going to tell here are all the files. I'll put this file there, I'll put that file there. And these are all libs or libraries, though we don't care about those. We want the executable. And it's not Pywall, it's wall. So then he wants lots of information. And he say, oh my God, what should I do? And then you type help. That gives us information. Or you type manual and if sorry yeah correct then if the developer wrote or did a manual with it then you get more information in this case that will not work so two options always the help and the man fine so we need to run a wall with a lot of elements behind it fine we have a script you know that we have a bsbwm with all the tutorials about these elements but we never came across Pywall or Wall in there. They are in here in our keyboard shortcut. So we open this one. And we go for Control Find. And we say give us Pywall. And we find indeed some information here. Variety keys with Pywall. Now before I get into that, we also should check that we um, have variety like so, super three. We are on desktop three now. And in desktop three, we can use old next, old previous, if variety is working, but variety for some reason just gave up. That happens with variety, just quit it. And we wait for it because it takes a while for variety to stop and then we relaunch it and we have full functionality again there it is it's gone super shift d restart variety or with another way you can restart variety and alt next is going to show and alt previous is going to show the wallpapers right so the, the idea is that we're not using now Alt N and Alt P, but Alt Shift N and Alt Shift P. So we have a new shortcut key and we need to actually check out Polybar. I'm going to press Super Shift Reload. So I have this ability here again to click on my Polybar. Um, the thing is that we need uh, to, 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 to reload everything with a Shift. So Shift, Shift, Shift has been added, and if you want to have a wallpaper, uh, well, no, uh, uh, if you want pie wall or wall to work, you need to add shift when you change your wallpaper. Now, what we'll do as well is we're going to add some stuff so you see what changes, what happens. So, all to the right, all to the left. If we press Ctrl Alt T, we get the terminal. It's good. Super return. We got also a terminal. Um, let's put this one 
trivial pattern minus s c matrix let's reinstall for the sake of the tutorial pseudo pacman no sorry trizen bash pipes like so it's already installed for the sake of the tutorial reinstall it c matrix is going to go in here pipes is going to go in here and let's get a little bit serious and open a nano ppc pacman.conf in here now what will happen if we press our key alt shift next we get the next wallpaper but everything changes with it so our wallpaper is now a different kind of wallpaper this one and with alt shift to the right oh sorry to the next arrow keys don't work i i'm used to uh, arrow keys but they won't work in bspwm so but this is quite nice it follows this blue car alt shift next following this nice wallpaper alt shift n following our standard one alt shift n following iron man alt shift n following this and let's now just continue without looking at the wallpaper this one maybe okay that's why it's all yellow orange but maybe you've noticed as well it's also a nice one because of this one maybe you've noticed as well that our termites i mean our, our terminal is no longer transparent we can do something about that as well but that's for another tutorial so with this alt shift n we can keep on going keep on trying and why is this all red because of only two colors present so what does he need to choose right so that's how computers work also a nice one why is it so yellow because there's a lot of yellow in there simple as that so you keep com keep going and you can make all beautiful scrots screenshots to put online and say look what i've created and you just press a little button have fun